14 foods to avoid during pregnancy. There are some foods to avoid, or be aware of, when you're pregnant. As they might make you ill or harm your baby. So here is a list of the top 14 foods you need to know about. Number 1. Seafood. You can eat most types of fish when you're pregnant. Eating fish is good for your health and the development of your baby, but you should avoid some types of fish, and limit the amount you eat of others. Certain seafood and fish contain mercury. These should be avoided since if consumed during pregnancy, they can lead to brain damage and developmental delays for your baby. Fish with high levels of mercury include mackerel, swordfish, shark, marlin and tilefish. Fish such as tuna contain slightly lower levels of mercury, and whilst care should still be taken, they can be eaten in moderate amounts, but no more than a small can a week. The amount of mercury we get from food isn't harmful for most people, but could affect your baby's developing nervous system, if you take in high levels of mercury when you're pregnant. Smoked seafood should not be consumed, as they may be contaminated with listeria bacteria. Listeria is widespread in the environment and can contaminate a wide range of foods. It is of most concern in chilled ready-to-eat foods that do not require further cooking or reheating. Undercooked shellfish such as oysters, mussels, prawns, crab and clams may contain harmful bacteria and viruses that can cause food poisoning. Cold pre-cooked prawns are fine. Well-cooked food can prevent some of the infections, but not algae-related ones. Therefore, it is recommended to avoid any kind of shellfish during pregnancy. Number 2. Eggs. Raw or undercooked eggs should be avoided. Therefore homemade desserts such as chocolate mousse, or fresh mayonnaise, which contains raw eggs, should be avoided. Always make sure eggs are thoroughly cooked, until the whites and yolks are solid. Otherwise, you could potentially be exposed to salmonella bacteria. Salmonella food poisoning is unlikely to harm your baby, but it can give you a severe bout of diarrhea and vomiting. Non-hen eggs such as duck, goose and quail eggs should always be cooked thoroughly. Number 3. Meat. Raw or uncooked meat must be avoided, since it may contain listeria bacteria. Refrigerated meat must be heated up before eating, particularly venison, lamb and pork, to avoid toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis is an infection caused by a parasite found in raw and undercooked meat, as well as unpasteurized goat's milk, soil, cat poo, and untreated water. If you're pregnant, the infection can damage your baby, but it's important to remember toxoplasmosis in pregnancy is very rare. Toxoplasmosis often has no symptoms, but if you feel you may have been at risk, discuss it with your GP or midwife. If you're infected while you're pregnant, treatment for toxoplasmosis is available. Cook all meat and poultry thoroughly so it's steaming hot, and there's no trace of pink or blood. This especially applies to poultry, pork, sausages and minced meat, including burgers. For ready-to-eat meats, you can also reduce any risk from parasites, by freezing cured or fermented meats for four days at home before you eat them. Freezing kills most parasites and makes the meat safer to eat. Avoid all types of pâté, including vegetable pâtés, as they can also contain listeria. Liver can also harm your unborn baby. Don't eat liver or products containing liver, such as liver pâté, liver sausage or haggis. They may contain a lot of vitamin A too much vitamin A can harm your baby. Game. It's best to avoid eating game that has been shot, while you're pregnant. It may contain higher levels of lead, due to the lead pellets. Venison and other large game sold in supermarkets, is usually farmed and should, therefore, contain no or very low levels of lead. Number 4. Milk. Milk can be good during pregnancy as it provides calcium proteins and minerals. However, you should avoid unpasteurized dairy products, since these can cause severe food poisoning. If only raw, unpasteurized milk is available, boil it first. 
Don't drink unpasteurized goat or sheep milk, or eat foods made from them, such as soft goat's cheese. Stick to pasteurized or ultra-heat treated UHT milk, sometimes known as long-life milk. All types of yogurt, including bio, live and low-fat, are fine. Just check that any homemade yogurt is made with pasteurized milk, if not, avoid it. Soft ice creams should be fine to eat when you're pregnant, since they are processed products made with pasteurized milk and eggs. Any risk of salmonella food poisoning has therefore been eliminated. Number 5. Cheese. Unpasteurized soft cheese such as brie and camembert must be avoided. These are mold-ripened soft cheeses, which have a white rind. Pregnant women should avoid these, because they're less acidic than hard cheeses, and contain more moisture. This means they can be an ideal environment for harmful bacteria, such as listeria, to grow in. Listeria can cause miscarriage, premature birth or birth defects. These cheeses are only safe to eat in pregnancy if they've been cooked. You should also avoid soft blue-veined cheeses, such as Danish blue, gorgonzola and roquefort. Again, soft blue cheeses are only safe to eat in pregnancy if they've been cooked. All hard cheeses are safe to eat in pregnancy. You can eat hard cheeses, such as cheddar, parmesan and stilton. Even if they're made with unpasteurized milk. Hard cheeses don't contain as much water as soft cheeses, so bacteria are less likely to grow in them. Other than mold-ripened soft cheeses, all other soft types of cheese are okay to eat. This is providing they're made from pasteurized milk. These include, cottage cheese, mozzarella, paneer, ricotta and halloumi. Number 6. Fruit and vegetables. Avoid unwashed fruit and vegetables. Besides potentially ingesting harmful pesticides, the fruit and vegetable skins can also contain the Toxoplasma gondii parasite. This can potentially cause damage to the fetus. Raw vegetable sprouts are excellent sources of protein and minerals, but you should avoid them during pregnancy. Raw sprouts can contain harmful bacteria and viruses, which can be a cause of bad food poisoning. Number 7. Nuts. Whilst nuts usually offer a range of health benefits, consuming nuts during pregnancy requires some discretion. Nuts such as peanuts, cashews, chestnuts, hazelnuts, macadamia, pecan and walnut, can all cause allergies or skin rashes. These should be avoided during pregnancy, in order to avoid any potential allergic reactions. Number 8. Caffeine. Too much caffeine is never good for you. However, in pregnancy it can become more dangerous, since it is a diuretic and has been linked to low birth weight. Too much caffeine can also cause miscarriage. Care should be taken as caffeine is not just present in coffee, it is also often hidden in other products. Products such as tea, chocolate, energy drinks and some cold and flu remedies. Green tea, for example, can contain the same amount of caffeine as regular tea. Caffeine should therefore be avoided during pregnancy, since those taking it are at higher risk of stillbirths, fetal deaths or spontaneous abortions. To cut down on caffeine, try decaffeinated tea and coffee, fruit juice or mineral water, instead of regular tea, coffee, cola and energy drinks. Number 9. Tinned Foods. Canned foods are packed and stored for longer periods of time, therefore these are not recommended during pregnancy. The lining in the cans often contains bisphenol or BPA, which affects fetal endocrine activity. Furthermore, tinned foods can sometimes contain harmful bacteria, due to their long shelf life. Number 10. Sugar. When you're pregnant, anything you eat is also consumed by your developing baby. There is some concern that eating a lot of sugar during pregnancy, can have an effect on a child's cognition later in life. Furthermore, consuming a lot of sugary or sweetened foods during pregnancy, may also have an effect on your physical health. A small number of pregnant women can develop a condition known as gestational diabetes. 
Gestational diabetes develops during pregnancy and often goes away after delivery. However, it can increase your risk of developing type 2 diabetes later on. Therefore, reducing the number of sweet foods you eat, including fruits, can help you keep your blood sugar levels under control. Number 11. Fatty foods. Too much fatty food during pregnancy can increase your cholesterol. It can also put you at risk of heart disease and obesity, and is not a good source of nutrition for your baby. Fatty food intake should therefore be kept to a minimum. Number 12. Artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners should not be taken during pregnancy. Whilst you may think you are cutting back on sugar, artificial sweeteners, especially saccharin, are not filtered by the placenta. So, to be on the safe side, you should avoid using them. Number 13. Vitamins. Excessive vitamins should not be consumed, since they can disrupt normal fetal development. Some vitamin overdoses have been linked to congenital disorders. You should avoid high-dose multivitamin supplements, fish liver oil supplements, or any supplements containing vitamin A. Number 14. Licorice. It is best to avoid licorice during pregnancy. Whilst licorice is usually considered harmless, during pregnancy its consumption can cause uterine contractions and preterm labor. So these are our top 14 foods to either avoid, or take with some caution. If you liked this video please hit that like button. Also, if you would like to see any videos in particular, please comment below. We have many similar videos being released shortly. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you will catch all the latest updates.